Hey guys, Sam here, and thanks for joining me for another vote video. So as you guys know, I'm running for Cineplex pre-show host, and to convince you guys to vote for me, and maybe just, I don't know, be nice, I've decided to do a series of vlogs. Today's vlog is going to kind of answer two questions that I get asked a lot. What comics are you reading right now? And what awesome female-led comics are there right now, which would be pretty easy for newcomers to comics to get into. First on my list is Gail Simone's run on Red Sonia. She gets drunk, she sword fights, she sexes if she can. You will love this comic if you love badass women who don't take shit from anybody else. And because the amazing Gail Simone is writing it, she's never exploited, it's never gross or creepy or weird. The art is always very tasteful and she's not in the bikini the whole time, but it is sort of her iconic look. Next on my list is the brand new run of Ms. Marvel, which you guys, I know I'm gonna be repeating myself this whole video, but it's amazing. This new run on Ms. Marvel follows the adventures of a Muslim teenager, Kamala Khan, in New Jersey as she discovers she has crazy amazing shape-shifting powers. It's written by G. Willow Wilson, who is an actual Muslim woman, go figure, and the art is by Adrian Alfona. He did some work on The Runaways, which is one of my all-time favorite comics. Watching this teenager come into her own and accept herself for who she is, which is kind of weird, kind of Muslim, kind of Jersey, definitely a shapeshifter, is amazing. So I think you should definitely check it out. My next pick is Captain Marvel. <laughs> Following the adventures of the original Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers, who is a US Air Force pilot and an incredible badass, Carol has been asked to be the Avengers representative in space. So she's hanging out with the Guardians of the Galaxy, hanging out with Rocket Raccoon, and I'm kind of hoping that this run means that our very first solo uh, lady film from Marvel is gonna be Captain Marvel, because kind of ties in with the whole universe at the moment, so fingers crossed. Other reasons you're gonna love Carol is because she is super obsessed with Star Wars and she has a cat named Chewie who she takes on her spaceship with her on her travels, so. Next on the list is the current run of Black Widow. She just traveled to San Francisco and hung out with uh, Daredevil for a bit. She was just hanging out with the Winter Soldier for a bit, so there's some good stuff going on. But what really makes this book amazing is Phil Noto's art. He draws Widow so well doesn't unnecessarily sexualize her. She's so beautiful and stunning. The panels are amazing. If you're looking for a good book with great art, I would highly recommend picking up Black Widow. Plus, Natasha is like a crazy, amazing Russian super spy, right? Like, what's not to like? Even though they're for a slightly younger demographic, I would also recommend picking up Lumberjanes, which has art by Noelle Stevenson, who did Nimona and is Ginger Hayes on the internet. Uh, the book is hilarious. And fantastic webcomic artist Kate Leth just started writing Bravest Warriors, issue number 21, which is a great place to start with the series if you're unfamiliar with it. You can jump right in. Uh, it's really adorable, really funny, and Kate's even got a series of ciphers at the bottom of each page, so if that's something you're interested in, it's pretty cool. I also want to give a shout out to Sex Criminals, which is told from a female point of view. It is definitely an adult comic, uh, but if you want to find out what being a brimper is, you gotta get into this book. And the number one comic which I recommend you check out right now, uh, which I don't even have a copy on me because I've lent it out to literally every single person that I know, is Rat Queens. This book follows four foul-mouthed women in like a medieval fantasy town who make up this band of like thieves. Imagine if you and three of your friends suddenly found yourself like fighting orcs in fantasy land. That's what this book is. And the first volume is out. So go to your comic book store right now. Go right now. Go, I'll wait. It's cool. Go to your local comic book store and ask for the first volume of Rat Queens. I'm gonna wait. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions for me of other comics that I should be reading right now, hit me up on Twitter. I'm always there. And please vote for me for Cineplex pre-show host. The voting link will be up right at the end of this video. You guys are the best and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.